Welcome on in, guys. Fulzy Bear 15 with you. Um, continuing our uh, quest for national champion with Wisconsin. Um, to kind of recap the season thus far, we'll show up as the first team in every game. Uh, got off to a bit of a rocky start. We didn't play week one because Wisconsin didn't play week one, as you see. Uh, we got off to a bit of a rocky start against Division 1 AA East, which would have been Murray State in real life, but we won 17-7. to um, We then went against Ball State, second week of the year. We won 35-7 to there. We also won at Cincinnati, 35-7. to Came back, pitched a shutout against Michigan, 27 nothing. Went on the road to Columbus and won 10 to nothing against Ohio State. Went on the road against Minnesota and won 21 to seven against our rival. Came back, won 17 to 10 at home against Indiana, who had beaten Penn State earlier in the year. Um, we went up against Michigan State. Uh, we're up 28 to three, nearly blew the game, uh, but we won with the last second field goal. Uh, we went on the road against Northwestern, won 20 to seven, and then we won at Purdue. 28-21 uh, in overtime. We had to come back late in that one as well. Uh, we are facing an Iowa team today that is three and six on the year. Looking at their stats, they got blown out by Nebraska, got blown out at Iowa State, came back and beat Northern Illinois. Uh, but after the bye week, lost at Michigan State against Penn State, came back to beat Northwestern, uh, but lost to Indiana, uh, lost to big to Ohio State. And beat Illinois last week, so they are on the up and up uh, with the win. Had they won against the Indiana Hoosiers, their season might look a little bit different. Uh, we would be facing them with an outside chance of them making a bowl game. Uh, but as it is, they are bowl, not bowl eligible. So we are going to face off against them. On senior day for us, we do not have another game until possibly the Sugar Bowl. So we are 10-0 and hopefully going to go 11-0 here. So I'm glad you guys are tuning in. I hope everything goes well for you guys uh, this evening. And so we will showcase our senior day with Ron Dane and company. Our defense has been very stout most of the year. Minus the game against Michigan State where we kind of blew it up. Uh, luckily we got very late touchdown. We're going to give our senior QB the start in this one. Welcome to Madison, Wisconsin. For today's so, between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Wisconsin Badgers. Pretty much a sellout crowd in the rain at Camp Randall this afternoon. This was an era, the 99 season, where a, team, a lot of teams elected to receive the ball. And even in today's sort of Day and age, I still like to receive the ball, but so if I were to play like Madden 2020, I'd be the one receiving the ball. Everybody else is like electing to defer. So we take the kickoff out to the 27. I was eight of ten teams, ranked eight of ten in the Big Ten conference. We have struggled on offense all season. Um, first play, as you see our stats, we're 70 or 68th in offense. We do boast the nation's top ranked defense. And our defense has been stifling opponents all season. Um, that much is, is for sure. But our offense has been absolutely abysmal most of the year. Um, this is Ron Dane, though, who gets a big first down on the counter run. Gain of 14 yards. 
It's a 14 yard pickup for Ron Dane, who is in Camp Randall for the last time as Badger. Um, and this is a handoff to Ron Dane, who's got a. It's near another first down. And he's got the first down, 11 yard pickup. So. Two big runs to start the day for Ron Dane after the two-yard pickup by the quarterback and the option keeper this time. This is a rollout play. He just led Ron Dane a little too far there. Otherwise, Dane would be off to the races on that pass there. Brooks Bollinger is the freshman quarterback who is the backup um, if we struggle a lot today in the passing game he may be the one we go to and that's a complete throw down once one thing I've been noticing throughout the time that I've you know, been streaming whether on YouTube on Twitch or whatever that is also incomplete. So three straight incomplete passes and off the punt. Uh, I've had a lot of good people uh, watching. You know, I'm, I'm not really a big YouTuber, obviously, as you guys know. Feel free to subscribe, of course. Um, I definitely appreciate it. You know, I'm not big into this, of course, but... No, I do my best. Uh, you guys can look through some of my Final Fantasy playthroughs. Um, I'm starting to export them from Twitch. So that's going to be kind of cool to do. Um, and it's always just kind of fun to play these games for you guys as well. Um, I've always kind of had a lot of good fun being able to... Five yard run, number 46, on the carry. Watch these, like, do these games for you guys. Have you watch, you know, say, like, boy, this guy has not been good at NCAA football, which is very much the case. Um, but I dutifully always appreciate you know, everyone's support. We get the quarterback sack there, third and ten upcoming for Iowa, who is 51% on third downs despite their struggles this year. Um, and that's actually, I think that's a fumble. They're going to roll the fumble. And it's going to be picked up by Wisconsin, so that's a big play for us. I did rule the fumble, so it's first down 10 Wisconsin after a fumble recovery. And that's a late pitch to Ron Dane, first down the one. It's a huge first quarter. 38 yards on three carries after the pitch play there. That was a big pitch. Oh, that handoff gets nothing. Number 41 is tackled for a short loss. Actually, this is about a yard there. Second and goal at the two yard line. Quarterback it was supposed to be a quarterback sneak. It ended up being a, almost an after tackle run for the sneak for the touchdown. So, Wisconsin's on the board. Running the ball has been a success for Wisconsin thus far. Kick after is good. But right now the nation's leading kicker in terms of getting the kicker of the year award. In real life, Ron Dane won the Heisman Trophy. In this game, he appears not to likely get that award, but he's had a very solid year all year. Um, now it'll be Wisconsin's turn to go on defense after the two-play, three-play drive. And Iowa will be back out on the field, first down 10. 
This was also Hayden Fry's last game as a head coach. Uh, his Iowa team had struggled all year. Um, they say they hang it up after this year. A legendary coach for the Hawkeyes. Um, this was, I believe, the end of back-to-back -back Rose Bowls for Wisconsin, if I recall right. Uh, they had gone to Rose Bowl against Stanford on New Year's Day at the start of the year 2000. So, on the carry, number 46, game is pretty interesting. Third and two at the 27 yard line. And we get the sack there, so. Number 78 has been havoc this year in the backfield. We have done our best against Tom Brady of Michigan, against Drew Brees of Purdue. And the two very terrific quarterbacks, indeed. The two that are going to the Hall of Fame five years after they retired from the NFL. That was a line drive punt. And a really good return. It's a 33 yard return, so. Sets Wisconsin's offense up for a short field again. First down 10. Ron Dane gains about four, maybe five yards. On the run, number 33 gains four yards. We are hoping to get to the national championship. I don't know what the uh, expectation will be of who we face just yet. That is a top. Uh, we should have kept it with the quarterback keeper. Um, that was only about a yard pickup. Does bring up third down and four. Should run a play before the end of the first quarter. Got the touchdown. To the tight end. We put on two impressive drives, albeit short drives. So that's why our stats are only about 65 yards, but we are up 14 nothing after one quarter of play. Something we have really enjoyed my success with in the past this year. Um, has been struggles in the one game in the past game. But special teams and defense helping out with that so far today with the great punt return and the fumble recovery off the lateral pass. And I thought Iowa would come out a little bit better than what they have thus far, mainly because they beat um, Illinois last week. Iowa ball first and right, ten at the twenty-two yard line. First my water not open, but first down ten. That's intercepted. That might be a pick six. Now it's not going to be going to be out at the five yard line. Interception made by number forty-five. Return twenty-two yards. Well. Oh. Ron Dane on senior day should get his should get a touchdown here, and he absolutely deserves it. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. This is Ron Dane touchdown. Turn down the volume even a little lower. Three straight drives of only a few plays in Wisconsin. It's a 21 nothing. Someone down on the play. I'm not sure who that was. That looked like number 19. It looked like number 18 or number 19. 
You can tell right there. Actually, it's 48. Never mind. And so. It'll be first down in 10 Iowa following the interception and following the touchdown by Wisconsin. It looks to be pretty onset for the Sugar Bowl. That's actually caught for a touchdown. It's a 77 yard touchdown. And that one big play right there gets some over our yardage. As fascinating as that is. And so Iowa prevents the shutout. There's a kick way to the left, taken by the tight end number 85. Actually, gets through a couple of people and gets a first down out to the 32. Actually, the marker 31. That's where Wisconsin will take control again. First down and 10. Gonna have to go a little bit longer than just a few yards on this drive. And the option keeper to start. This is Ron Dane. First down. About 12 or 13 yards on the play. Run by under 33 with 11 yards. I actually realized it's only 11 yards. I thought he got 12 or 13 on the play. But it's still a first down run for Ron Dane, who's got seven carries for 61 yards already. It's a huge first half. And he bounces off another right there. On the run, number 33 gains one yard. Bounced off a guy, but only got a yard out of it. Um, so it'll be second down and nine. Bring pressure. This one's going for Chris Chambers, who's got the first down, and he's down to the five. Maybe the four. Massive complete to number 88 for a gain of 52 yards. So, another big play for the Badgers offensively. That was 52 yards. First and goal at the four yard line. This is a bootleg run, not going to do much. Quarterback sacked by number 99. A loss of three on the play. I thought the bootleg run might work, but it did not. So this is be Ron Dane, and he's got an easy touchdown. His second today. And that puts Wisconsin back up by three scores in this one. Iowa ball, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. And the pass is incomplete. So Iowa starts, started at the 20, first and 10, got the incomplete pass. And now they have second down and 10 at the 20-yard line. 2.27 to play in the first half. And this is... 
pass out to the right side and complete. I don't think it was even on target. I think that was in the sidelines anyway. So, they're down 10 at the 20. Boy, if you're Iowa, you are wondering what the heck happened in this first half. And there you get three yards, and that's it. So, <clears throat> and punt now. After the line drive punt the first time, this one is a little more of an arc to it, but pretty decent size return out to about the 40-yard line of Iowa. So Wisconsin will start again, first down 10. This one is marked at the 40-yard line of Iowa. They go right away to running the ball with Ron Dane, pick up about four, maybe five on the play. And they say only three. Not sure how they did that when he was down at about the 35. But... In any case, second down seven. Tried the option attack and did not work. So third down is what's up coming for the Badgers. They have not been successful really on third downs all year long. Just 23 of 80 on third downs. If the wide receiver ever turns back, he's got himself a touchdown. Simple as that. If he ever turns back, he's got a he's got a touchdown. He never even bothered looking at the football. He's got the tight end first down. On fourth down. Big play on fourth down. It's too long of a field goal, too short of a punt. So that's why we went for it on fourth down. No, we're not trying to rub it in our rival's face. This is Ron Dane, who gets four, maybe five yards. Three-yard run, number 33, on the carry. Have plenty of time. Oh, they only mark it as three yards. I was surprised by their yard markings here. Second and seven at the nine yard line. So we'll have run by number thirty three for a short game. Maybe a yard at most. Wisconsin has a call timeout. It'll be third and about seven coming up. Third and seven at the nine yard mark. That should be a first down. On the carry, number 12, gains seven yards. Or not. Thought that was a first down easily. He went down about the one yard line. Before he goes down, Raph, now we're. Contact is made. It's a fourth and inches. All right, they said we didn't make it. I don't agree with that, but okay. Incomplete pass intended for number 80. That's the end of the first half with the score. Wisconsin, and see number and Iowa, 7. 48 back in the game. Let's check the ticker. Uh, Baylor beat Colorado. Big upset there. Uh, Cornell beat number 10 Columbia in 1AA action. 
Texas A&M rolled Missouri. Nebraska beat Kansas State. They still have the Big 12 title game, and I believe the game against Colorado coming up. Nebraska, Miami University of Ohio beat Ohio. Arizona beat Oregon State. Princeton beat Yale. Texas Tech beat Texas pretty convincingly. I believe that will be a Nebraska versus Texas Tech showdown. Mississippi State beat Alabama. Alcorn State beat um, Alabama and m University. Um, Tennessee leads Arkansas in the third quarter. Uh, Florida State beat Maryland. Georgia beat Auburn. Ohio State's all over Illinois. Michigan beat Penn State. Um, Notre Dame and Pittsburgh are tied. See Jackson State leading Prairie View A&M. Virginia leads Buffalo. Virginia Tech roll over Miami today. USC barely eked out a win against Washington State. Marshall beat uh, Western Michigan. You see the Air Force Academy beat UNLV. Navy lost to Tulane. Army beat Memphis as well so Virginia Tech defeated Miami fascinating uh, to note that it could be us in Nebraska I would suspect to be either us in Nebraska or us in Texas Tech so very interesting the Red Raiders are a part of this battle they've been undefeated all year they've also been very good all year so we're going to keep an eye on both of those two teams. And the fact that they rolled Texas is very impressive. Considering Texas is no slouch at this time in college football. Um, so this is first down 10 at the 20. And that's an incomplete pass. Which brings up second down. So... And ten. I will look in uh, to deuce the lead a little bit or kind of get the lead down a little bit here. But they've been having lack of success. Outside of that one pass play for 77 yards, they have not been able to complete a pass. So this is third down, and they still cannot complete a pass. I'll say they run for 77 yards. If you wanted to make your first one to be a big one, they did. Problem is, they haven't been able to do anything since then. That's a couple of broken tackles on the punt return. Very good punt return. Been a good bit of work done in the special teams department today. This is first down 10. So that's a first down for Ron Dane, who's at 86 yards as we made the very late pitch. Kind of a zigzag run there for Ron Dane, but gained a couple. And that brings up second and eight. Um, about four minutes to play in the third quarter in this game. In the senior day for Wisconsin is rounding. Not sure how he got caught up with his own lineman there. Well, it's now third down and two. Come on, choose like a overly horrendous play. Bring the blitz. This is for Chris Chambers. It's deflected touchdown, Wisconsin. Got batted by someone. I don't know if that was Chambers or a defensive back, but we found the receiver. Uh, 
other receiver crossing. Mm -hmm. It was just a bit of luck there for the touchdown. So. First down and 10 for Iowa after a kickoff return. Down 35 to 7. And with the way Wisconsin's defense and special teams have been, it's been very short fields all around. Um, that's intercepted. Speaking of short fields. There's another one. It's just been a nightmarish day for Iowa. First, you're coming off a team that has been just porous offensively most of the year. That's actually fumbled out of bounds. I think it actually goes as a four-yard run with the fumble, but in any case... Ron Dane gets a hold on a first down. He's over 100 on the day. 15 yards for the Badgers running back. And he's just had a huge day today. 109 yards on 16 carries for Ron Dane. Probably going to get the call here again. And he's going to actually lose yards. Run by number 33, loss of three yards on the play. Now down to 102. That's probably his second negative play today. He's not have very many of them. Actually gets a completion here. Pass complete to number 33 for a gain of nine yards. He gets nine yards off of that. Quarterback is 5 of 9 today for two touchdowns. They haven't had to throw it a lot today for Wisconsin. It's been a pretty good day. Nowhere really to go with the ball, so when the tight end stood up, we just threw it to him. Now we have a chance to... Get our highest point total of the season. We do. It is now 38 to 7. So another short field, but this time it's only a field goal, which in all honesty makes us sound a little bit up on ourselves when we say only a field goal. It's good kickoff return to about the 35 yard line kickoff return 32 yards by number three so iowa will start their first down and 10. 118 left to go in the third quarter it's 38 to 7 wisconsin 4-3 set for the badgers that's incomplete and on senior day, 6 of 10, 125 for Wisconsin's quarterback. Haven't had to throw it a lot, to be fair. Um, but look at those stats. 8% completion percentage. That is just yeesh. That is something rough. It's even worse now. At this point, you can't get much worse. You can only go up, to be fair, but... They also were 51% on third down centering this game. Now they're well under 50. 
I get the first down there, and that's the second completion of the day. They desperately needed that in the worst way. Um, that is incomplete. I was going to print out a stat because he was 2 of 14. He could complete his next 8 passes and still not be at 50%. So it's one of those sorts of ordeals that when you have a bad passing day like this young man has, that's going to be pass interference on the defense. Pass interference, defense. I had a feeling that was going to happen when I saw the DB there right with him. I was like, they're going to call me for pass interference there. In any case, it's an Iowa first down. They do run the ball this time. I think at this point they might think of themselves with just a semblance of... You know, call mercy at this point, you know. You're down 38-7. Might as well just look in the... I don't know where he was thrown to there. Maybe call Mercy and... You know, maybe begrudgingly run some time off the clock. Pass is incomplete. Pass is broken up by number 24. With Johnson, ball, first and ten at the 27 yard mark. That's a quick pitch to Ron Dane. He's got himself a first down. Wait, what? No? Boy, they are really, really being rough on this. That should be a first down, man. Well, now they give us the first down. That was... That was very odd that they did not give us the first down on that first time, but at least they did the second time. They were in run defense mode there. I might pick up a yard. And not at the 39-yard line. They bring up blitz, and it's just underthrown for Chris Chambers. It wasn't a bad idea to run that play, though. Had he just been behind, he would have. Oh, and that one's just in front of him. Intended for number 88. I will say that is one of the weirdest aspects with this game is throwing mechanic is just way too off. Way too off. Like it's either significantly overthrown or it's just significantly where the defenders are already going to make a play. And unless your receiver's open, then... Of one yard. 
That's one of the few ways he'll catch it, but... It's one of those ordeals. And that is intercepted. Now will this be a... No, we're going to be down about 20, but it's our fourth takeaway today. I, uh, I'm going to take out the first team. They, just, they deserve... They deserve the set. They've had a terrific day. Um, we're just going to run out the clock at this point. It's been a big day for us, and I'm very proud of my team. Very proud of the guys. This is Brooks Bollinger in at quarterback. He flips it for the first down. I think that will be down around the three. Or at the four, even though he wasn't even down until the three, so. And at the very latest. First and goal at the four yard line. And this is a touchdown. So. Take advantage of the turnover. We get the touchdown. It's been a huge day for Wisconsin today. We may not have the biggest yardage in the world, to be honest with you. Um, holding on an extra point. So we get the extra point from the 13 yard line. And we still boot it through. So, with Wisconsin a 45 to 7. What an exclamation point to the regular season for us. We've been tested. Ohio State, especially, that was the toughest test of the year. I would have thought from a ranked team, uh, Michigan State in the comeback, of which we won. Purdue in overtime, all big challenges, all single-digit games except for Ohio State, but really that was single digits. All mainly thrown, that's another interception. It's the second one for number 44, and we've got our second team in. So that's a, another big play. It's the fifth takeaway today, and so, so happy with this football team and the job that this team has done. Can't be any prouder than that. Run by number 39 for a gain of four yards. Second and six at the 36-yard line. Yeah, well, 
I was going to take time out here, no problem. Now we got a decision to make. That was just a bit overthrown, by the way. Just a bit. It wasn't too far. Uh, had we gotten just a little bit more air under it, we would have. Fourth and five at the 36-yard line. And just okay, we try to go for it on fourth down to try to get the first down. It does not work. You get some, you lose some there. But we will go first down 10. And we get the sack there, so that's big. As you can tell, we're pretty much out of stuff to sack. I think they're gonna go for it. Yep. They've only attempted three times on third, fourth down this year. We've temp attempted like 30. They don't get it there. So I mean, this is just gonna be one, two kneel downs, and we will go to the sugar ball. So it's been a it's been a year. It's been a long year so far, but we're we're nearly there. We are nearly there, my friends. And there's the final kneel down by Brooks Ballinger. Um wow. A big win today, 45-7. to seven. On senior day, Ron Dane, two touchdowns. Our quarterback, who's been maligned a lot of the year, two touchdowns throwing, big day for us. The defense with five takeaways today. Huge day for, for them. Ron Dane, 117 yards on the ground. So that'll do it, guys. We're on to the Sugar Bowl. Um, that's where the next broadcast will take place. Thank you. you know